be not the start you want if you're Wonku. Two to five, and EMP has been planted. So let's see what's going to happen here. As once again, oh, we see Wonku doing the hatch play. This is a very common uh, site plant for factory, but this is the worst um, spot to be in if you will. Um, for this Wonku squad is actually EDO that does find MF, but the best thing to do is save those vessels right now. All right, round number 10 of this PCO scrim, five to four for Pantheon. They are certainly bringing this back. Uh, they were down, I believe two to four. Now they've won three straight rounds to give them the lead. So certainly they are looking very good as once again, Pantheon full stacking seems they are going to go for them for those hatch plays. Not very surprising as that is what most teams do. Hatch does get blown. Oh my goodness. Freck. Oh, Freck just jumps in immediately. It does get taken out by Domi, but with the refrag on MF, Metro with the kill on Phil. 2v4 now for Wonka. Oh no, this is not good for Bobby. Oof, and he does get taken out. Not the round you want to have if you if you are Wonku. Um, <laughs> as it's just all down to yo one v four. The best thing, in my opinion, uh, that he needs to do is just save the pheasant. I mean, that's really all he can do right now. Oh no, but he could come into contact with Rambo. Oh no. That's what happens here. Ooh, and Rambo does take out EDO to give Pantheon their sixth round. So right now, Wonku, they have no way of winning this game. So the best thing they can do is tie. Um, as, as this game it is on round number 11 and this is the second to last round before this game ends. So no way of Wonker winning this one, but let's see if they can pull it a tie. A quick scoreboard check for you guys. Once again, Logan just, just absolutely top fragging for Wonker right now. 13 and seven, very good performance from him tonight. Um, Overall, scores look pretty even from both sides, but we see the three and eight from Prof. So hopefully he can maybe pull out some more kills for this Walker squad. Ooh, if we see Phil good right on this hatch, if if Ramo does choose to fast drop into that, as actually smoke does go out. Actually, but it seems it was fake as frick finding the kill on to Domi. Drone is going to go out ahead. That was a spot, Dr. Fogel. Right now, Pantheon full stacking up onto the site A. Seems like they are playing very coordinated, very 
team team oriented, I should say. Yeah, so Wiki Bobby trying to hold out with the RCP, but does get taken out by Freck. EMP does go off. Wonker are gonna have to find something here. EDO finds the kill on Metro. Filgard to the kill on Prof. Turning a 3v5 into a 3v3 now. Certainly uh, more winnable odds. However, this EMP has been planned. It's gonna be really hard for Wonker to take back. Um, but they can't really do anything else because th because if they lose this, this is the final round if they lose this Logan looking to Maybe get a peek 30 seconds left on EMP. Oh Logan not finding that far kill All down to Phil and EDO Phil not finding the kill on to uh, MF, and actually, MF getting that double kill there. So, we see 7-4 to four factory win for Pantheon. Yeah, but... I think second map is going to be Skyscraper, which Skyscraper is a very defensive sided map, um, but we will see ultimate, yeah, if I can speak tonight, I do apologize, but yeah, uh, final scoreboard check for you guys tonight, once again, Logan, 13 and 8 for Wonker, we have also, a strong performance from EDO going 10 and 8, Phil Good 7 9, Bobby 6 9, and Domi 3 and 9. For the side of Pantheon, Freck 12 and 9, Rambo 11 and 7. Very good performance from those two. Metro 7 7, MF 9 and 7, and Prof 4 and 9. So, very good playing from both teams, as actually we see a, a second map on Hideout. But. I think Hideout, I think it's more of an attacker side of map, personally. Uh, so it's going to be very interesting to see how these two teams handle it. As we may be on a small timeout here. So I am probably going to send y'all back to the highlight reels and, and uh, yeah. Map two of the BCL screen between Wonker and Pantheon. Coming right up. Stick around. But you know, Nero, Nadix, and Orzo, you know, these talented players, I see. Nick Hazel looking to push it here. 
Oda O gets caramels, but Hazel gets the refrag there, and it's a four on four. Sir Roberts missing some shots. Hazel picks up another kill. Three versus four for Cheeky Breezy. The EMP is gonna go down. Toxic gets another kill. Jake the Dog gets the kill, but Compact the Dog gets two more. Black Cat now with a one versus one, and Black Cat gonna be able to clutch it, and that is it. Cheeky Breezy just like that. Frag after frag, he's gonna be able to get the kill, and it gets a DQ here. That might not be ready. He might get overwhelmed here. I mean, granted, that reason actually. Oh, oh, walking him down as that. They want to find two at O dot O. Last one alive, but he's gonna get the one like Caramel there. Alright everybody, we are back with map number two of this BCL scrim between uh, Pantheon and Havoc. We see Pantheon starting off on the attack this round. Wow, uh, Wonku is on that defense. As far as starting Eco, we see once again another Taurus uh, from the side of Pantheon. So maybe they can put that to use as, oh my goodness, we see a full stack on it, onto uh, the hallway area. Oh my goodness, Pantheon just absolutely rushing in. And Demep with no fear under the kill on to Dr. Fogel, but Bobby does the refrag. Rambo with the refrag on Frick, but Ethia with a double kill. Wow. So far, we've seen Pantheon adopt a very aggressive play style here. And it is really working out for them. Uh, so far, they're just manhandling this Walker squad as Logan actually finding the kill on to Metro. Uh, now all down to MF. Their once aggressive push stalled out. All down to MF, who's in a bad spot right now. Just caught between EDO and Gizmo. Does find the kill on to MF. Given Walker their uh, first 1-0 to zero lead in this hideout map. We could we could be seeing uh, some Vezen buys coming out from Walker, but it looks like they're actually just going to save their money. Not a bad play as actually we do see two wow two Vezens uh, from Walker. So they are certainly looking to get ahead of this Pantheon squad here. As uh, we see Pantheon having to invest still in those pistols so uh, right now we see two tauruses from pantheon as well as two cyclones and a breach so let's see how pantheon handles this round hopefully their rather aggressive playstyle shines through against this uh, very passive wonker defense so far we see three and oh from edio so he's doing pretty good uh, whereas we see one co each from Rambo and MF Jester. As the door does break into family room, this is a very common push most teams do. Uh, the sort of family room push as Logan maybe trying to find that early pick. Nothing really happening there, though. And as we see Metro just on the hatch. Dr. Fugger with a grenade. I don't think that's going to find anyone. Actually, does get some hits off as the wall does get blown into A. We'll fill with a kill on Dr. Phil. Good. Oh, Logan just not getting that headshot. Unfortunately, it does not secure the kill. As we see Gizmo taking out MF. EMP does get planted, but oh my goodness, Logan's just rushing up on the fret. Gets the kill. All down to freaking Prof here. Rambo taking out EDO, but Logan getting the refresh. It is now a two versus three. Four. Oh, never mind, actually. Not a two versus three. Four Wonker as they unfortunately get taken out. Now a two to zero, um, I guess lead here for Walker. So they are sitting comfortably. They are sitting pretty. 
and they are they are able to afford those syringes and vezins. However, it seems Panthon actually cannot afford all vezins, only being able to buy four. So once again, even with this vezin round, they're at another disadvantage. But let's see how they can pull it out. Scoreboard check for the first time in this game with Logan Flawless going 5 and 0. Very good start from him. EDO going 3 and 1. Dr. Philco 0 2. Gizmo 1 0. And Bobby 1 and 1. On the side of Pantheon, Rambo 2 2. Prof and MF 1 and 2 each. And Metro and Threk 0 and 2. So if Walker do win this, uh, this match, then we will go on to a map number 3, which for the first BCL scrim, not bad. <laughs> Not bad, I must say, as the drone does go come out from MF. But that door, but that door blocker is in the way. As Freck choosing to actually just <laughs> okay, choosing to hard breach into laundry. However, he does not ha have any breaching foam, so unfortunately, he cannot foam the wall. As a uh, full sack on the garage site. Ooh, that's a, actually a nice prox. That's kind of hidden too, so very good prompt. As we see EDO on that shallow room. Metro finally going, gets me. Oh, as Phil oh, almost got his head taken off. Logan and EDO with the go each. EDO. Now. Oh my goodness, just absolutely whiffed all the shots. That's very unfortunate for EDO as Logan is doing that same, well, that that same rotate. Right now, things are looking good for Pantheon as actually Logan does find Freck, but Prof gets the refract down to a 1v2 now for Dr. Philco. Can he clutch it up? Oh, he knows there's someone there, but he's, he's not going to wide swing that. MF just crouched behind those boxes right there. Oh my goodness, and MF actually finding the um, the right side body of Dr. Phil Good to taking him out. Giving Pantheon a uh, one to two deficit right now. Right, round number four in this uh, BCL scrim between Wonku and Pantheon, just about underway. Uh, in terms of economy here, actually we see well, Vezin buys from both sides. Actually, we see a Marui from Bobby. That could be a difference between a kill and a death, as I think... Wait, no, sorry, that's not the Marui. I think that's the... No, that is the Marui. Okay, uh, I do apologize. Those icons aren't very clear, but with the Marui, with that increased damage, so that could be the difference between a kill and a death. As Prof just, once again, aggressively entering into uh, the family room. Wall does get foamed. Once again, Pantheon uh, stacking up on one site, but, ooh, as actually EDO does get taken out. Rambo with the kill, on to, Logan, yes. Ooh, now a 2v5, four now for Pantheon, is actually Bobby taken out. Oh my goodness, Bobby's not really in a good situation here, as actually gives him with the 2k, my goodness. Oh, Rambo, or no, sorry, Gizmo finding the kill onto Rambo, and Bobby with the kill on the prof. And uh, that, that leaves nobody standing for Pantheon, giving Walker the 3-1 to one win. That was a very nice double kill by Gizmo there. Uh, I think that really sealed uh, that round win for Walker. So right now, 3-1, to one. so Walker are doing very good. All right, first, 
first or second scoreboard check for, or, uh, sorry, the second scoreboard check of the night for you guys. Logan with a 7-2, Gizmo 4-1, EDO 4-3, Bobby 3-2, and Dr. Feelgood not able to find a single kill going 0-4. Hopefully he can help out his team a bit more. On the side of a Pantheon, MF and Pro 4-3. Rambo 3-4, Freck also 0-4, and, and Metro 1-4. and four. So we have two members, one from each team, not finding a single kill. So uh, let's see what they're going to be able to do uh, to, once again, to help out their team more on this normally attacker-sided hideout. But... So far, Wonku are proving otherwise. Winning three other defensive rounds. Oh my goodness! Pantheon just absolutely being very aggressive, rushing into sight. Hey, Freck with the kill on EDO, and just like that, Pantheon have full control of sight. Wait, no, sorry, that's not sight. I don't know what I'm thinking. <laughs> As the hats just get blown, Negan touched out. That's actually does manage to hit. His mode was just on. On that table now with Drew in the connector. Another nade. That's not gonna find anybody. Oh my goodness! Seems uh, Walker did invest into those. Well, into a lot of nades actually. It's Logan on the rope. Smoke does go out. Oh, and Logan finally come on crack through the table. And I find the kill on Gizmo and walk through. And oh my goodness, uh, Dr. Phil is kind of just line firing. Logan still on that wraparound flank, but EP has been planted. Logan's going to have to do something here if Walker want to win the shot. Finds the call on MF. It's a double on a Rambo. And just like that, 2v4 into a 2v. Two, but Logan not picking the right corner does get taken out by Metro. But now the hatch play is gone from oh my goodness, Pantheon as a prop just decides to rush in, guns blazing, and unfortunately it just does not work out as a winnable round from Pantheon's not looking so winnable now. It's actually Metro with a kill on Dr. Phil. Oh, fans. Bobby with the kill on Metro, but the EMP times out. And Pantheon do win that round. Solely off the EMP timeout. Wow. Very nice playing um, from Pantheon to use all of that time up on that EMP. That's something you don't see very often in scrims or league matches. So, very, uh, very smart move by Pantheon to know how, uh, well, to uh, get that EMP defusal off. So, that, so uh, their deaths did not go in vain, as Pantheon actually do end up winning that round. All right, now this is the round for Wonker to win. This is the halftime round, or the side swap round. After uh, this round, the teams will swap sides, so Wonker will go on the attack while Pantheon will go on the defense. As we see Logan holding this tight angle by the door. And we see Rambo looking to uh, do something with the Vezin. There's actually Logan, Logan with the double kill, oh my goodness. Nay gets tossed down. Is he going to find one? Nope, does not find anyone, unfortunately. Very nice double kill by Logan there. It's actually, Sight is on the bottom floor, so Logan and Gizmo doing some roaming. Down to a 3v5 now for Pantheon. This round is certainly looking a lot more winnable for Walker. Just once again, Logan absolutely just on a tear, 11 and three right now. Certainly proving uh, why he is a good, well, well, why he, he is a good player as Gizmo actually got Frick, where was that at? Oh, 
Oh, that was on the window, I see. Yes, man, finding the, uh, the, oh, wow. Okay, then. Yes, man, actually, uh, just absolutely on a pair. Where is Rambo sitting on? Oh, that's actually EDO. Does uh, go out that window, finds the kill onto uh, Rambo, and uh, yeah, that is Waku. Well, now they are up four to two. Yeah, but this so far very good playing from from both of these teams in the scrim. Wonku is uh, looking to to win this game and sent us to a map three. Uh, they are in prime uh, stakes to do that here. Give me one moment while I swap around the OBS settings. There we go. All right. All right. A scoreboard check uh, in this first round. Uh, uh, well, actually, first round of this new half. Well, for the side of Pantheon, we have Jester going 5 and 5, and five Rambo 3 6, Prof 4 5, Metro 3 and 6, Freck 1 and 6. On the, side, on the side of Walker, Logan 11 and 3. Gizmo 6-2, EDO 5-4, Bobby 5-2, and uh, no good, 1-5, so looks like he did get a kill. <clears throat> As Filgo just drops immediately, finds the kill on the Freck, but he is on one health. He's literally one shot. MF on that, on those stairs, not finding any shots, uh, and does get taken out by Logan. Oh, we see Gizmo inside A. As Gizmo taking out Metro. Wait, hold on. Wait, hold on. If Gizmo was... I think Gizmo actually shot, shot the feet off that one guy. Oh, Rambo team coming prof with the Taurus. And Bobby taking out Rambo. So, Pantheon... Or no, sorry. Walker, uh 5-2. to two. I, for, I forgot to change my in-game. Settings. Yeah, but uh, Walker, 5-2 to two right now. They are in full control of this game. Pantheon having to go on another save round. So if if they don't win this game, then they... Or, or, no, 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 sorry. If they don't win this round, then they don't win the game because uh, six points is match point in Breachers. Uh, which... Um, yeah, which is very unfortunate for Pantheon. And uh, this may be sent to a round three. We will see here. As we see Wonkru once again, just gonna do that full push onto Garage here. But. Yeah, let's see what happens here. Round number eight of this BCL scrim between Wonkru and Pantheon on short right now. Dr. Felgood is on that front lobby door looking to find a connection into uh, into that garage area. This drone does go out. Actually, Freck watching that time is fine. Dr. Felgood. And that shuts down the counterplay. This Walker just trying to, to get a hold of this strong one. This Bobby with the the Marui, find the kill. Seems Bob is a big fan of the Marui. Oh, but EDO it. Oh my god, Rambo barely getting that kill onto EDO as those body shots from the Taurus don't do, do much damage, but did find the kill ultimately. Now we're down to a 3v3 now for both of these teams, but most of these fights are, are coming down to these like 1v1s or or 2v2s, so both teams doing really good. Rambo with a kill onto Bobby, and Gizmo finds the refrag. 
Oh, Gizmo just tempting Prof right now. Prof not finding those headshots. Metro takes his place. Now down to two Tauruses versus two Vez and two will win. Wall does get blown. Oh, Metro, uh, sorry, Prof with that nice angle there. Just taking them shots to Logan, nothing hit, and Gizmo with the kill on to Metro, and Logan finds Prof. And uh, yeah, that gives Wonker match point, which means we are going to a map three here. So far, this showdown is looking very promising here. I, uh, I, um, let's see here. As far as map three goes, I imagine it'll be like skyscraper because I don't think teams are ne are ready for the new ship map yet, which actually uh, the new ship map for Breachers, I believe it dropped around a few weeks ago. Um, but I believe th these teams here tonight are just sticking to the to uh, skyscraper hideout and factory, which are the the I guess main flagship maps for Breachers. But uh, right now, another scoreboard check for you guys. This could be the last one of the game. Uh, we see Rambo 6 8, MF 5 7, Prop 4 7, Freck 2 and 8, and Metro 3 and 8. So actually, we see nobody going positive on the side of Pantheon. On the side of Walker, Logan 13 and 3, Gizmo 9 and 3, Bobby 8 and 3, and uh, Phil Good 2 6, and EDO 5 and 5. We see Walker doing a push into Y. That's not something you see very often. But it is a re but it is a very uh, refreshing take nonetheless as the wall does get foamed into that A site. Right now Walker is weighing all their options here. Rob is on the Oh, so it's oh my goodness, Mesa with the kill on to Gizmo, but Logan and Edia with the double kill. And now, once again, Walker just rushing into the, in the side for a frick with the kill on to Dr. Feelgood. And gets the double on to Edia. But EMP has been planted, so 2 to 2 now. Let's see, let's see what happens. Cool prof with a nice snap on the Logan. Now down to a one v two for Bobby. Let's see, let's see how he's gonna up. Whoa! But the Marui just not able to line up shots with that Marui. As oh my goodness, they can't find EMP. Oh, as actually they do find it eventually, which it's uh, Pantheon their map or sorry their round three wins so that so they are keeping their hopes alive in this uh bco scrim so this is not an official bcl uh match per se this is just a scrim uh but uh, yeah, so far this scrim has been going back and forth, back and forth. But uh, right now, Wonkru, uh, well, they forced a map three with this, uh, with this, um, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, they forced a map three with, with the uh, six round wins for Hideout. So we're probably going to be seeing a map three on the skyscraper unless they're going to do shit which I'd be really surprised if they do ship. But uh, as time goes on, we will see what happens. Once again, Walker just on that garage push. Uh, but there, there's that door blocker in the way. Oh, man. We could be seeing Rambo go bowling with that frag. Smoke does go off from Wonka, which does force Rambo back into sight. 
Oh, Gizmo is on the laundry. Looking to take out that, uh, uh, that that's not going to reach that trip mine. Oh, if that frag does kind of go a bit too far, not taking out that trip mine. Actually, Gizmo does pick up those trip mines, allowing him to enter. Flash does go out, not out buying anybody. Oh, I'm panting. Wall is getting thrown to prep as a double breach. Oh my goodness, but Metro getting the kill on Gizmo before he can fully breach the wall. And now Walker have to recover that foam as a hit. Actually, no, no, Logan with the contract. And Mep with the refrag. Prof on those stairs does see uh, EDO, but he's not going to repeat that. Once again, down, down to a 3v4, most of these fights are coming down to these very even numbers, uh, which certainly is a testament to how good both of these teams are. As a walker now with 1 minute 30 seconds on the clock. Just playing it safe here, we see EDL watch on those stairs, oh, Prof. Prof looking to... That. Oh, that's a nice lean by Prof, actually, but not gonna find Edo just yet. Oh, oh, and Edo actually does take out Prof. I think he saw a bit of his, um, I think, body there, but he chose to wait until he could spot his head. But unfortunately, it just did not work out for him. Three v three now. Fifty-five seconds on the clock. Metro is watching the door, does take out EDO. Wall does get blown. Rambo with the kill on to Dr. Phil Good and Metro with the kill on to Bobby. Could we see a Pantheon comeback? Could we see the tie? Uh, very nice playing from Pantheon to keep this game alive. Now, we we will still be going to that map three regardless, but that Pantheon is certainly putting up a a very strong fight, showing why they are thirteenth in the BCL division. Which speaking of the BCL standings, Walker is twelfth in the gold NA division. Wow, Pantheon just behind them at thirteenth. So both of, both of these teams are very uh very close together skill wise so uh this watch is definitely very interesting so uh, stick around because uh you don't want to miss a second of this bcl scrim all right uh scoreboard check uh this is probably the third scoreboard check i've done in the last like four rounds but a uh, metro seven nine prof five and eight the rambo seven nine mf six eight freck five and nine on the side of Wonker, Logan, 15 and 5, the only one going double digits for Wonker, Gizmo, and Bobby, 9 5, EDO, 7 7, and Dr. Phil Good, 2 and 8. As we see Wonker sitting on the hatch, Prof is just in the bedroom, waiting to. waiting to, to see the Wonker drop, and they do. Prof does notice, but. Oh, unfortunately, just not not able to find any killers just yet. Nay does go out. Yeah, that was a very unlucky turn of events. As actually, MF with the double with the triple. My goodness, MF is on an absolute tear right here, but it does get taken out. Very nice triple kill by MF. Wow. Now a one v four for Walker. And, uh, well, now, uh, now a 0 v four as Pantheon once again winning their next round down from 6 to 1. They have won four rounds in a row against, wait, no, no, sorry, not 6 to 1, um, uh, I believe it was 6 to 2. So winning three rounds in a row uh, against this Wonker squad, this this is what PCO is all about. High stakes gameplay at the highest level, and though 
though th this is a scrim, still high stakes BCL gameplay nonetheless. As uh, we see this game going all the way to 12 rounds. But um, just very nice showing from both teams. Logan with the 15 and 6, but so far it's not proving to to really be locking in this game as <laughs> well Pantheon coming back <laughs> three straight rounds. Oh, we see Prof just on this tight corner. Uh, maybe looking to find out the Dr. Phil good as he enters. As we see Logan and Bobby looking to rejoin him. Dr. Philgood gonna possibly swing it. He does and gets taken out by Prof. That is EMP down for Walker right now. Not where you want to be. It's Prof looking to secure another kill. Well, wait, he may. Finds the double on to Bobby. A very nice double kill. Which uh, now puts Pantheon in a good spot. Logan finds the kill on the Rambo. Oh, can't find the kill on the Metro. E EDO gets Freck on the upper balcony. Nate gets tossed in by Gizmo. That's not doing. As EDO finds Prof. Oh my goodness, turning a uh, 2v5 into a 2v2. This is a showing of we really numbers don't matter in this game because the tides can turn just like they are now. As Pantheon looking to lock in this draw. Now, regardless of if Walker win or not, uh, we will be going to a map three. Uh, because Pantheon did win the first game on the hideout, and and uh, now Walker did draw this game. So, or well, not well. They haven't drawn yet, but uh, but we could see it. You know, <laughs> we could see the draw as as Walker. Are looking to probably do yeah they're looking to maybe fast drop into sight catch Pantheon off guard. Thirty seconds left as they do fast drop into sight, but Metro with the double. Wow, he was ready for that drop, and Pantheon coming back four rounds in a row. Uh, ultimately drawing this map to hideout. <laughs> that was superb action right there. Down to the wire, uh, which gave uh, Anthony on the draw. All right, what will we see on this map three of Skyscraper? Only time will tell. But uh, the final scoreboard check for that hideout game on the side of Pantheon, Metro 10 and 9, MF 9 9, Prof 7 9, Rambo 8 and 10, and Freck 6 and 10. On the side of Waku, Logan 16 and 7. Once again, go going double digits and really, really fragging out for Pantheon. Gizmo 9 7, EDR 10 and 9, Bobble 9 7, and Dr. Phil Good. Seems he's just having an off day going 2 and 10. But uh, we see Skyscraper starting right now. So no no break for any of these teams. Yeah, but um, Skyscraper tends to be a very defensive-sided map. So it's going to be interesting uh, to see what happens here. Actually, let me swap, <laughs> once again, swap the uh, OBS uh, names. All right, 
we are good to go. But Skyscraper, once again, is a very defensive side of the map. So if, if Pantheon can win any of these attacking rounds, they will be in very good shape here tonight. But uh, this is map number three of this BCL scrim between Pantheon and Walker. Certainly has been a good watch tonight. So I... I'm super stoked to have casted this tonight for you guys as uh, Babel taking out Metro. Not Babel, Bobble. Yeah, yeah, there we go. <laughs> Freck taking out, look, and getting that refreck there. Just on the hallway. EDO taking out Rambo, but Freck looking away at the wrong time. Doesn't get taken out by Dr. Feel Good. Now a 2v4. For Prof and MF. Prof. Inside. Looking. Mm, oh, he's going to find Gizmo. He does not. As Gizmo is ready for him. All down to MF now with the Taurus. Hey, you know, we may see four headshots in a row. Who knows? That, that would certainly be very, um, very cool. You know, very, very cool uh, if he got those headshots because that would be a crazy clip. I'll tell y'all right now. That'd be a crazy grip. At uh, 1 minute 50 seconds on the clock. Let's see what MF is going to do here. Right now, it's just taking his time sitting on that window. As so we see Bobby just inside A watching that door in case MF tries to, you know, vault in or, or anything. MF may be looking to save the Taurus. And not, uh, I mean, honestly, that, that wouldn't be a really bad um, thing to do. As MF may be looking a bit mad, you know. Seems he's a bit <laughs> frustrated with his team. As a well on our way to seeing a Wonkaroo round win. See EDO just on the roam, but uh, he, he's not going to really find anyone. Actually, he could easily just spawn, pick out that window, and and probably get the kill onto MF. But, um, well, he is just unaware that there is anyone outside. We see MF just, you know, kind of doing a bit of trolling, I guess, you know, watching that clock run down as a uh, set to take this first uh, round win on Skyscraper. Yeah, but uh, we see Walker winning that first round there on Skyscraper. So now they are looking to gain some momentum and snowball their way to victory here. Uh, now, if Walker were to win this game, then that would be a serious draw because because the first map did go to Pantheon 7-2, second map on Hideout. 6-6 six six. and uh, this map is the series decider so right now Walker sitting in a comfortable lead no 1-0 oh. see let's see if we can take a look at some of the starting eco for both the teams we do, we, we do see one late late defesin from Dr. Phil Good um, who is 1-0 oh, so hopefully he can put that to good use but that is really all. It's actually, oh my goodness, MF and Prof find a kill apiece. As MF does drop, finds the kill onto Logan. 
That's the rest. Oh my goodness. Uh, Prof just getting absolutely domed by Bobby with the Spectre there. However, Pantheon do have control of Side A. Dr. Philgood's still alive with the Vezin. However, uh, Freck and MF don't have EMP. So, they're going to either have to retrieve that or just go for kills. Because actually, Bobby is holding EMP. So, CMF, maybe they're looking to try and go. Oh, Freck takes out Bobby with the Taurus. Very nice kills. He does spot that heal syringe. It's all down to Dr. Phil Good, who was just on that door. Low could find Jester here. Oh man, but uh, Dr. Phil just not able to find those those shots, unfortunately. And are uh, they not gonna take his vessel? Oh wow. Uh, Seems Pantheon, I guess, just did not care for his Vezin as, as uh, we see round number three starting now. This is the buy-in round for both teams. Uh, we see, actually, both teams do have some Econ to spend on utility as they won one round apiece. Uh, Pantheon chosen to invest in two health syringes and a cloak, whereas Walker choosing to invest in... I believe a prox and a frag so very differing utility choices from these teams but um but right now we see one to one for this scrim and uh let's see what pantheon can do to gain more of these crucial attacking rounds on skyscraper because honestly I think it's pretty hard to win on attacking for, for Skyscraper solely because there are so many uh, roaming spots on this map because this is the biggest map um, out of the three in Breachers. As we see a full push into front lobby area, uh, but we see two of the walker players on that on those rooms and oh my goodness fresh absolutely just rushing in plants and p where are walker right now they are absolutely nowhere to be found but dr pilker that does get the refrag on edo with the syringe mf gets the kill on the gizmo bubble takes out frick but look gets the refrag Two versus two now. Both of these teams highly skilled in these clutch situations. Oh, but Metro get the kill on Logan. Fill with the refrag. All down to a 1v1, but health advantage in the side of Metro. Oh, and Metro. Oof, he just looked away at the, at the exact moment that Dr. Philgood peaked. That was definitely a call of duty timing right there if I've uh, never seen one so obvious, but Dr. Phil Good taking that round win for Walker, putting them up good one. And on the health of disadvantage, securing the Vezin and health syringe for Walker. So Walker, I believe, looking to get three health syringes at this round or just stick with the two they've got, but uh, we do see actually Pantheon is able to buy two Vezins. Metro investing in the Omen. That's not a bad play in those course, or I'm sorry, in those close quarter situations. Um, however, the, the Vezin by far beat out the Omen in terms of those long range engagements. Yeah, we see two, two Tauruses from Pantheon there right now. We see Gizmo doing a sprint. <laughs> to uh, the lounge area. But the, what can Pantheon do here to tie up this game? It's gonna be a very interesting to see what happens. Mm. Round number three starting now. Drone does go out from MF as they are looking, looking to drone the servers, but Dr. Phil Good. 
is on the window. And Frick, oh my goodness, actually blind fires on uh, and does get the kill on Logan, securing a health syringe for I feel. And actually and an RCP, so one of the poorest players may be looking to pick that up. As Wall is getting foamed into the B site, uh, where EDO is on the door. Gizmo taking out MF. Does toss the frag. Not gonna hit anybody though. So Wall does get foamed. EDO still on that threat, gets that kill. Ball ball. Oh, look at that. Swing on the frick. Can't do it, unfortunately. As EMP does go out. But to feel good. Oh my gosh, frick with that triple kill. Rambo does get taken out. Oh my goodness. Wow. We see Pantheon winning that round. Uh, on the back of Frick with that triple kill. Very nice uh, showcase from him. But if you're Walker, uh, you don't want to be tied two to two uh, in your defensive rounds because once again, skyscraper is 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 typically a very defensive side of the map. So, it, so if it's two two uh, from Walker right now. They're gonna have to put up a bit of a better performance if they want to win these next two rounds. Uh, and and uh, send them to uh, round six, four to two. But uh, we will see what happens here. Well, once again, we see full buys coming out from Pantheon. Oh my goodness, with the three health syringes. So they are, they're sitting pretty, but if they lose this round, then they're just gonna give all that you tell to Wonker. But this does look like Pantheon's round to win, but we will see as round number five starting right now. Metro and MF just rushing into the side as we see EDO on the room with the Spectral, but uh, he is outgunned. Actually, EDO is not fast enough to really do anything. So Pantheon stacking up. The drone does go out, does. Oh my goodness, MF and Metro with the one kill each. I feel good to sit on that. We're gonna kill. Finds Pra. Does not find anybody else. That's Rambo and, and MF both get a kill each. <laughs> Down to a 1v3 for Walker. <coughs> but it seems this very aggressive playstyle is working out as Logan with the grenade. That was actually a very good grenade, but unfortunately, there was just nobody there. As EMP has been planning, this is going to be really hard for Logan to do. I think his best bet is to save his health, but he's going to try and peek and get taken out by MF. Securing another health syringe for Pantheon, and Pantheon is actually winning 3-2 to two in this BCL scrim. So, very good showing from Pantheon to not only compete with Wonko in Skyscraper, but but take the lead on their attacking rounds. So, um, if Walker needed to win any round, this is the round they need to win. As if they do lose this round, they're going to be down two to four, and that's not something you want. Yeah, but um, but round number six. The, 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 well, actually, yes. Uh, this is the halftime round for both of these teams. So uh, it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be interesting to see how Walker play this drone going out from Metro. Oh my God, Prof immediately foaming the wall. Seems Pantheon are a very aggressive team. They don't, oh my goodness, as Edo gets down by Prof, uh, MF getting the team kill on uh, somebody. That's not, that's not something you want. That's the kill is just going out from both sides. Metro find, finds a Bobby. 
And actually, we see two roamers from... Oh, if we, saw, we just saw two roamers from Walker there, but unfortunately, MF was not able to pull off the double kill. Which uh, now gives Walker a 3-3 three three lead, all tied up here. In this UCL scrim. But, uh, yeah, you know, um, we have seen excellent play throughout this whole series. Um, map 2 did end in that 6-6 six six draw, which is why we are playing this map 3. But, uh, still a very good series to watch and cast nonetheless. So, uh, yeah, uh, as the first scoreboard check for Skyscraper, we uh, for the side of Pantheon, we see MF73, Freck94, Metro44, four, four, Prof25, and Rambo15. On the side of Walker, Dr. Phil Good, 6 and 3, Gizmo64, Bobby55, five, five, EDO25, and, and Logan is 1 and uh, 6, actually, 1 and 6. So we see a bathroom push from EDO. Logan looking to find some pop shots, but nothing doing. His prompt is uh, on the road for Pantheon. Freck as well. Dr. Philgood does enter into that small lobby area. Films the wall. Oh, feel good. Not able to find anything. One for one trade there. Metro taking out Bobbit. Oh, and now we see Phil and EDO with the double kill. Wall just get foam into Bravo's sight. Oh, but Rambo with a flick. Forest kill. Oh, he's going to spike it, but he's on one health. Forced to retreat as EDO does play EMP. Prof finding Dr. Phil good. Prof just playing some mind games all on to EDO. EDO the kill on the Rambo. Oh my goodness. Just both, both of these players playing mind games on each other. Oh, but EDO getting that kill on the Prof. Which, uh, yeah, that gives Walker a 4 to 3 lead in this map 3 of Skyscraper, in this uh, scrim between Walker and Pantheon. <clears throat> yeah, but just very solid play all night from these two teams. Um, and, and for a scrim, uh, this is a very good play. But looking at the economy, uh, we actually see two Vezins from Wonkru, whereas Pantheon are having to go with those Tauruses. But make no mistake, uh, Rambo and Fred are very good at hitting those Taurus headshots. So we may be seeing uh, some crazy flicks here. But round number eight of this scrim starting right now. Let's see what Pantheon can do to tie it all up again. There's a wall on the servers. It does get blown. Why is my camera speed up 5,000? Oh, as Gizmo does take out Freck. Also, I do apologize for the fast camera movement. I have no idea why, but my camera just decided to speed up and forward and uh okay there we go that's logan actually getting the kill onto rambo dr feel good with a plant one hands of ezin takes out mf as he can't seem to plant as actually uh emp does get planted off all down to phil and ADO. And actually, ETL does get a lot. Does like the health range. Feel good. 
And ETO getting taken out by Metro. And uh, yeah, wow, well, that gives Pantheon, you guessed it, four to four tied ball game here. Honestly, you can't ask for a better map three. Um, this definitely shows why Walker and Pantheon are just uh, one one rank apart in BCL. Walker being 12th and Pantheon being 13th. So both of these teams similarly uh, ranked slash skilled. Another scoreboard check for you guys here tonight. We have MF 9 and 5, Freck 9 6, Metro 8 and 5, Prof and Rambo unfortunately just going 3 and 7, not able to to get any uh, picks for Pantheon. Hopefully that can change. On the side of Walker, we have Dr. Phil Good, 8-5, Gizmo, 7-6, Bobby, 8-7, EDO, Bobby, 6, and Wolf Logan, unfortunately, with the 1-8. and eight, He was going strong on Factor and Hideout. And actually, I believe he got double digits both, uh, both maps, but unfortunately, he's just not able to get anything going here in the Skyscraper map. Taking a look at the economy, uh, we see Wonker on a bit of a save round, uh, not buying any Vezins. Or no, actually, no, no, uh, they have one Vezin and one RCP, excuse me. There's Pantheon, full Vezins. PTO on the drone, Bobby getting hit. Some wall bang, looking to find a kill on the MF. And does find that kill, but, oh, see him being pressured from the hallway. Drone is just about to get expended as we see Metro just on that hallway. He's looking to take some pop shots. Logan taking out Prof. Metro still in that hallway, he's just watching that. Freck with a nice. Oh, Gizmo gets taken out. Or no, sorry. Gizmo takes out Freck. Rambo takes out EDO. Rambo looking to swing that, not finding anything there. As MF with the static kill? With the, with the static kill? Oh my goodness. As a Rambo and Matro taking out Gizmo, I, I think that was a, a static kill. I'm not really sure uh, what that was, but nonetheless, Pantheon now in the lead. Um, this is just like the hideout map where they were down a certain number of rounds and then they well they're well they came back um, to take the lead as uh, we see walker specifically a spark invest well he was investing in the canopy now uh, now that is not the case as We've seen a ton of substitutes from Walker this series. As actually, I think Gizmo and Bobby are subs, so they aren't even like on the team. However, they are still helping out uh, Walker by playing in the scrim. So, uh, so a huge thanks to them for making the scrim and this cast a possible. As Walker once again is stacking up on that server. North stair push. They like to do so much. Swapping. See, there we go. Here's Metro. Maybe. May come in contact. Oh, man. Actually, does not come in contact. In fact, that's fine. The kill on EDO. Spark and Dr. Felgood just both in the in that uh, prop find the kill on Metro or sorry no prop find the kill on Bobby Metro gets the kill on Gizmo. All down to a two three five that's both both Spark and Dr. Felgood just on, on those well are just sitting in the fence right now. Oh my goodness. Oh, Phil takes my Pantheon the entirety of... Well, the entirety of Pantheon is basically just in service. The nade, unfortunately, was a bit botched. 
Oh, hey, and uh, MF finding the kill on the Sparks. Unfortunately, just looked away at the wrong time. Oh, now it is all down to feel good in RCP against four Vezins and two, two health surges. The odds are not great, but never tell him the odds, Prof. May find the kill, but just not looking on those stairs right now. And actually, just chooses to abandon uh, the stair angle in favor of that lobby area. Fifty-five seconds here for Doctor Phil. He has two options. He could one save that Marui, or try to deny some econ for his team. But right now, Pantheon looking to win this round, which uh, puts them on match point. As Doctor Phil Good is going to save the Vezin, so. Once again, we see Pantheon just take control, not allowing Walker to gain any uh, points in this round. But those defensive rounds that Walker lost certainly hurt them as what could have been maybe a, a five to three in Walker's favor is now six to four in Pantheon's favor as uh, now Wonkru has no way of winning. So actually Pantheon do win this scrim as a whole, even if this map ties because we saw Pantheon as that map one winner. So unfortunately, uh, Wonkru just not able to pull out today, but we may still have more rounds to play. Uh, we still could see a, a map draw over who knows. All right, this round right here is do or die for Wonku. Can they keep their hopes alive or will they unfortunately be crushed in defeat by Pantheon? Uh, stick around for the ending of this BCL scrim between Wonku and Pantheon. Just a quick look at the scoreboard, possibly the, the, the final scoreboard check tonight. We have MF going 11 and six, Metro up. Uh, excuse me, Metro, E11 and 5, and Freck going 11 and 8. So all of them going double digits for Pantheon. Certainly proving why they are on this squad. Rainbow 5, 7, Prof, 3 and 8. On the side of Walker, Dr. Fluga, 9, 6, Gizmo, 8 and 8. Bobby, 9, 9. Uh, EDO, 5 and 8. And Spark with a 0 and 1. However, he is a sub for Walker, so uh, unfortunately, he just... Hasn't been in the match long to to determine uh, his uh, stat line. The drone going out for Sparks. Not going to find anyone, though. As that, as that door blocker is in the way. It's like Freck right on the other side. Oh, Sue just to bait out Walker. Oh, finds the going Gizmo. Very nice bait. Unfortunately, cannot get the double off, and does does get taken out by Dr. Phil. Four v four now. <laughs> Dr. Phil is trying to break that door locker, but uh, saw Rambo there. Was gonna eke it, but chose not to. Prof is going around the back of Walker slowly but surely, but feel good is watching that. Hats and Spark still outside. Oh, that's actually a nice watch into sight back. See, that could provide a new sight line for Prof. Sparks looking to defend from this. By Prof. One minute on the clock for Walker. They're going to have to push hard and push fast. Not just sitting there on that window. EDO finding the kill. 
Prof still on the flank. Fine spark. And does back off. Securing the kill. Metro almost finding Bobby, but unfortunately does not. So 3v3 for both teams right now. But Walker, no health syringes. And Pantheon well on their way to winning the scrim. Fully winning the scrim. But yeah, it's just uh, still, nonetheless, a very good showing by Walker here tonight. Just unfortunately not able to pull it out. It's Prof taking out uh, two, actually, and EDO, unfortunately, does get taken out by... Ooh, taken out by Metro. So, uh, yeah. But uh, just overall, very solid playing from both teams but uh, pantheon ultimately taking the win and and uh, yeah uh they did win this scrim two maps to zero final scoreboard check for you guys tonight on, on the side of pantheon we have mf going 11 7 metro 12 5 freck 12 and 9 prop 6 8 rambo 5 7 for, for Walker, Dr. Philgood, 10 7, Gizmo, 8 and 9, Bobby, 9 10, and, and we have EDO rounding it out with 6 and 9. Well, that is going to do it for this BCL scrim uh, for tonight between Walker and Pantheon. More BCL casts to come. And uh, yeah, that's going to do it for me, guys. I will see you guys in the next cast. Peace out.